in, in some ways more is better now but in some ways con- continue like, having to undergo regular blood transfusion for the medicine yeah there's improved in technology whereas uh, last time you need to inject this needle under night attached to a machine uh, to get rid of the iron of learn in the my body and now you can take it orally by this capsule every morning it's a uh, two tablets every morning you can wow. consume and drink water yeah when he was three years old Jack Go was diagnosed with thalassemia major, a condition where his bone marrow is unable to produce normal red blood cells. And while other three-year-olds were bustling with energy, he was often pale, lethargic and lacked appetite. And uh, at seven, he had to undergo blood transfusions every two months to stay alive. And uh, even up to today, he has to go for these uh, quite regularly as well, around every three weeks. Today's Singapore story belongs to blood beneficiary and thalassemia patient Jack Go. As you grow older, your body will, my body will require more blood. Lah. So from when our first diagnosis was like two months to five weeks, and as the age progresses, we get into four weeks, and now currently every three weeks. So every three weeks, I have to come for three packs, three units of blood. Each pack is about two, 200 plus to 300 ml. So three, three pints will add up to close to 900 ml. So close to a liter of blood each time. Yeah, yeah. And what's the process like? Process, you have to undergo a blood test called the cross match when you arrive at the hospital. Then you have to wait about two hours for the the ward to send to the laboratory the blood, your blood sample, and they will process your to match the the blood blood donor the, those laboratory process and will be in the ward by two hours. So the blood will come two hours after you have your blood test. And the, each pack of blood takes about one and a half hour to two hours to complete. So three hours will take up to seven hours of your time minimum. So usually I will come in the morning and in the late afternoon or evening I will go back. And how do you feel after the transfusion? After the transfusion, yeah, of course you feel more energetic. It's like a... It's like a refill, a top up of something to, to keep you going, like a car, topping up petrol, you can keep moving. You feel more refreshed, like more energetic after the transfusion. And is this something that, you know, gradually kind of like comes down and wanes over the course of the next few weeks? Yeah, it will run, run out like petrol, on the, running on the car, the petrol will run out and eventually you need another top up because this car couldn't generate uh, its own fuel. So you need a regular blood transfusion. Okay, and, to and top is, there, up the, yeah. is there anything you can do to to sl- slow down the rate of? Uh... I hope I could <laughs> by yeah by ho- hopefully there's new more advanced you know medicine in the future treatment that allowed me to do so. But yeah. meantime, I have to adjust to my lifestyle. I like have enough rest. You know, don't do too too much activities like that were. Uh, that in some way speed up the the, the blood use process. So re- just rest more, like basically rest more and have enough rest. Okay. So you need this transfusion every three weeks now. So have you ever missed or you know delayed a transfusion? Yeah, I did. Not because Why? I want to, but because some maybe some really important thing I have to attend to, or maybe I forgot when I'm young. Sometimes my parent was busy, so. Might be a few days, like not not really for, forgotten to go unless I was sick or what. I couldn't get my blood transfused. But other than that, I'm I'm still pretty well treated. But if you don't have your blood transfused, you will feel those symptoms that I mentioned earlier, which is you will get like very tired, or restless, no appetite, very pale, no energy, just lying on the bed, like f- feeling uncomfortable, like giddy. Uh, it's like the, the feeling of you you, you have ha- ha- haven't slept for two days and you you are having a headache fever at the same time those kind of feeling and have the blood supplies ever been affected or have you been able to get what you need each time usually usually I get what I need I receive three unit every three weeks but but you may not know some event may occur then there's some blood sh- some blood may run a bit low shortage then uh, may have to go for two units instead of three but 
of what to do. You have to just to come two weeks later for, for another two units or just come more frequent to uh, have your that, that pack of blood. They, they just don't have that, that much of blood at that time. It does, it does happen to me, yes. Today's Singapore story belongs to blood beneficiary and thalassemia patient Jack Go, who is also a, a private hire driver. He's been receiving blood transfusions every three to four weeks since he was seven. And if you have a story to share or know someone who does, email me, eugene at mediacorp.com.sg. I'm Eugene Lowe for Singapore Stories on CNA 938. 